Father in heaven, we're so gracious to you for your faithfulness to each of us. The unique love you have for us before the foundations of the world. Even before our parents knew each other, you knew us. And you ordained us. And because of that ordination, we were made. And we were made because you wanted to entertain yourself. You wanted to create someone who would come to know you. And as we come here and gather together, we just reflect on it. That you love us with perfect love. No performance necessary. Just perfect love. May we yield ourselves to grab a hold of that for our lives. Grab a hold of that for our communities. Grab a hold of that for America. That you love us with perfect love. That's far outside our capacity to fathom, to explain. And may we never reject it. We pray for America. We pray for this nation. Only you know what's ahead. But we're still called to pray for what we call home. This is our home. We drive the highways. We go into the grocery stores. We hope to be able to leave and come back home safe. We go to our places of employment. We've created friendships with coworkers. We've created friendships with strangers that we met. This is our home. This is America. And in the midst of that, we've experienced pain. There have been appointments. There have been disappointments. But we turn to you, God, for grace. Show us a new grace in order to endure to a new place that you've called us to. We're in a transition. It's a good thing if we look to you for grace, for peace, for hope, for love, for unity. It's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Remain standing. I'm going to ask my brother if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And there's the plate right behind. We put our right hands over our hearts.